Alrighty, we are back with another review, and today we're gonna be checking out something hot off the press. We got some Sopranos pops. Better late than never. Let's uh, let's just say that. But uh, without further ado, let's hop right into this review. We got Excalibur here. We're gonna crack these open and we're gonna check them out. So let's start off obviously with the most iconic. We got Tony Soprano, played by James Gandolfini. Very very awesome set that they put together here. Um, four pops plus two exclusives. We have an exclusive Tony, which is him with the robe and the ducks. And then we also have Pauly Gauthier. So very cool, or Pauly Walnuts, whatever you like. Um, this Tony right here though, very cool, very cool. I wanna say, I was looking at each one of these and I was trying to figure out what episode that they're from. So I'm gonna go through my uh, guesses on them when we go through this. This one, for me, I thought this was the college episode. Him with the red shirt, the college episode when he takes Meadow to college in the first season. Ha! 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 Oh, man, this is great. Tony Soprano. All right. All right. He, he kind of looks like Tony. He kind of looks like Tony. kind of looks like Tony. You could tell it's, uh, you, if I just saw that, I wouldn't say, hey, that's Tony. This one definitely looks like Carmela Soprano. And I want to say this is, she's from the episode with the, uh, the one when uh, she throws the cordless phone at Tony and... He says he likes uh, some pulp, not with pulp. He's complaining about the pulp and the orange juice. She chucks the cordless phone at him. So I'm pretty sure that's where this is from, where she's, this is uh, her outfit, I guess you could say, or the way she's dressed up. There's Carmela right there with the uh, makeup all over the face, of course, dressed up in, in Carmela's outfit. I mean, if I saw this, I would either think some 80s pop star or Carmela Soprano. So that was pretty good in regards to them doing that. Next up we got is Silvio Dante, which is great. Now this is one, if I saw this one, I'd be like, that's Silvio, that's for sure. That is Silvio Dante. Cause he, he's got a little more of an iconic face and the gestures. I mean, this is that, we know this is, this is the intro scene to like ep, uh, episode three or something where he does, where they skip the intro and they start off with the scene with them watching some DVDs and he goes, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And that's that, that's that hand gesture right there you can see. We all know which this one's from. They're all counting the money at the uh, the back of Satriali's in there. Uh, he's imitating Pacino. Very cool. So that's we know what that one is. Oh, he doesn't stand very good. Come on, Sil. We need you to stand. He's not. still doesn't want to stand. Still doesn't want to stand. Ah, uh, Sil, you got to stand. We're going to lay him down. I don't want to keep getting bashed. Next we got is Pauli Galtieri. This is uh, the exclusive they dropped the same day they dropped the whole set. I bought the whole set and Polly Wouldn't miss these for anything. <laughs> wouldn't miss these for anything. Here's Polly Galtieri. And I want to say this is the episode. I want to say it's either one or two episodes off the top of my head. This is either the episode where he goes after Feech Lamana's uh, nephew and he, he throw he pulls him out of the uh, he pulls him out of the tree. And then he takes his lawnmower. It's either that episode or it's the episode where he confronts uh, Barone, um, Barone's kid, Dick Barone's kid. And he tells him he's going to break his knees and he's out there while he's doing his little rowing practice. So it's one of the two, but they did a great job with the wings on the side of the hair. I mean, just a perfect little on the airbrush on both sides. Real nice. You show me this pop, I can tell you exactly who that is. That is Pauly Galtieri. Now, this is also the same style and tracksuit that he had on in uh, the Kid Buku. Is it Kid Buku? I don't know which one it is. It, it was a, another vinyl figure line that Funko came up with in like 2015, 2016, and they actually already had a Silvio, and they also had a Pauly. So Sil and Pauly already had their own vinyl figures with Funko, and this is the exact same... A mannerism that they chose for the other mold as well so we got a Polly, rest in peace same as james gandolfini sad 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 and last we got christopher christopher another one is kind of like tony soprano i don't know if necessarily i'd know it's him but it's it's him he's got the eyebrows and he's got the uh the hairline so definitely Pretty scene accurate. This is from the episode. Oh, look at that. New. Oh, they just put New Jersey Bakery. But this is the uh, episode where he, he shoots the bakery guy in the foot. And we get to see Vito um, 
Joseph uh, Granascoli, we got to see him play two characters in that series. He played Vito, and then before that, it was like Little Carmine or something. He was just some random guy at the bakery that Chrissy kicked out so that he could confront the bakery guy. But here he is with his box of Schwiedel for the guys back in the in the back room of Satriales. That's where this one is from for sure. So this one I could definitely tell you is from that one. And man, I really want to say this is the episode where he chokes out that dude and um he, I, that was that was one where he took Meadow to college, and Meadow saved him, of course, because he was about to get shot. That was one of the times where he narrowly narrowly avoided death, um, and Meadow saved him as uh, as, as Angel, if you would. Um, so pretty cool. I dig the set. The only thing that sucks is Silvio doesn't stand up on his own. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to hit him with some boiling water and maybe uh, maybe push him forward a little bit because I do want Sil to stand up. We want these guys to be out of box, and I think he just needs to get. I think the head just needs to get pushed forward a little bit and it'll probably fall over again because it'll go back to form. So I'll do it with some hot water and it'll just slightly move it a little bit so he can stand up, which would be great. Like I said, yes, he's back to form again. He doesn't want to stand up. But anyway, Sopranos, very cool, iconic TV series. Phenomenal to get these in pop form. We got one more to come in. It's going to be uh, Tony with the Ducks. I don't know if they're going to do any more. Um, I did like the little sceneries that they did on their Instagram where they had like a, a modeled down, scaled down Satriales with the uh, characters in front. Totally cool if we maybe got one pop town out of the set. I know this is not a set they're going to run to the ground, which is awesome. It's just a set for a niche audience. The entire set sold out. Um, restocked Pauli Galtieri, he sold out as well. So all of these sold out and... Uh, I don't know if they're going to restock. Like I said, I think it's a small audience. This is a niche audience. I don't really, I mean, there's a lot of people like Sopranos, of course, but how many people are looking to buy vinyl figures of the Sopranos 20 years after the fact? So that's the that's the audience that they're pulling from. They may or may not come to stock. They may or may not hit stores, but if you happen to see them and you like the Sopranos, I would definitely not wait on picking them up. If you want to grab them, you should definitely grab them if you see them available. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of these Sopranos pops. Hey! We got some Sopranos Pops. This is the first set of Pops that I bought from Funko in probably a year. So, boom, you got me. Just when I thought it was out, they brought me back in. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this set. And, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. Be looking for that. Have a great rest of your day.